So I've mentioned informational interviews a few times. This is crucial. Um, the goals of informational interviews, you're trying to forge a relationship. You're trying to ask a lot of good questions, collect some information about the company they work at, the industry they're in, um, the type of work they do, and really about them as a person. And you're trying to shift this new relationship that you were probably before just emailing or chatting with on LinkedIn into someone who could potentially be an advocate for your job search. Not because, but you don't want to start with, hey, I'm interested in working for your company. You want to start with interest in them and some form of um, connection that you have, whether that's an alumni thing or we live in the same city or we both know someone. If you got a referral from someone else, you want to start with something that you're interested in about them, not saying, hey, I'm interested in working for your company. Can we talk for 15 to 20 minutes? Um, and again, how can you build them up? Is there anything you can do for them? And sometimes the answer is no, like maybe you don't have a great network to give to them, but just the fact that that you're kind of promoting them as the expert and, and are legitimately in, interested in them as a person, sometimes that makes people feel great and they, and they love helping people. And that's a benefit for them and for you, obviously. So, you know, we want, just in general, we wanna be givers, not takers in our relationship, right? So, and, and we do these informational interviews because of, uh, can also, um, get benefits from what some people call the Ben Franklin effect. And essentially uh, put simply, the Ben Franklin effect is that people like someone more after they do that person a favor, okay? So if someone does you a favor and gives you 15 to 20 minutes of their time to do an informational interview, then they're gonna like you more because they did you a favor in doing that. And if they do you a favor, you're more likely to, to, to like you and they're more likely to do something else for you too. They, if they're likely to do one favor, if they do one favor, they're more likely to do another and potentially um, help you out in some other way, which is you know, what we're hoping for. And we're trying to be very gracious and, and thank them and um, you know, give anything we can to that relationship. So um, informational interviews can be great ways to do it. It's still a little bit of a numbers game, honestly. Um, but the numbers game is a lot more favorable from when we were talking about a 2% chance of landing an interview, I find a 10 to 20% chance of reaching out to people, uh, my clients, when they reach out to people with some solid, you know, introductory messaging that people say yes to having informational interviews. So that's a lot higher than, than getting a, a job interview early. So it's still a little bit of a numbers game and we're, but very small amount of people can create the biggest impact in our results. And it only takes one really in the end, one good person to, to help you out um, and, and be a solid mentor and, and helper for you.